Good morning and welcome to Fennec Glen or welcome back to Fennec Glen. I'm going to try and not be an absolute theatre today and I'm going to try and get down to the Glen today. The conditions are a lot better today. It's a lovely spring day. It's nice and sunny. I'm hoping for some nice dappled light on the side of the walls as I did last time. Well, let's just hope that the, the scent is a little bit less treacherous this time and we'll go to have a look and see what it's like. I've just arrived and I'm off it already. That was a bit of a hard climb down. A bit less treacherous than last time, but still very slippy, very mucky, and it's 100% worth it because I think I have the place myself. So we're going to have a wander about and see if we can find a few compositions here, but I'm going to spend quite a bit of time down here looking for different compositions and trying to get something a wee bit different. I might also have to end up in the water again. You know how much I love that. Let's go see what we can find. Awesome shot just as the gorge walkers were coming down. It looked like something out of Game of Thrones, it was amazing. They all just sort of appeared from under the waterfall because there's a few layers of waterfalls up there as you can probably maybe see from the GoPro. So I did manage to get a photograph before those other photographers um, went up to the waterfall and they're in my shot now so I can't continue with any shots here. But I'll probably move around to another bit because um, the light's moving as, the, as we're walking through here. I'm quite happy. I got the light hitting the top of the pulpit which looks phenomenal and I got some sun rays coming down and hitting it which looks amazing. So the composition I was working on before they all turned up was a, a bit of a long exposure, um, but it's primarily based on the shape of the walls rather than the water itself. So I don't actually have any of the red water in the picture, but I think it actually still works. I've got the, the waterfall or one of the waterfalls up the back. I have the, the curves of the, the walls and, and I have some dappled light hitting the sides of the walls. And I think it's a really lovely framed kind of shot as well. It looks very framed. So I'm going to continue to scout the area and mode walk about. And just for anyone interested, I'm shooting this at two and a half seconds, um, ISO 100, to get the water with a bit of detail in it as well. So I didn't want it to be too slow because I like to try and retain some of that detail in the water, as you all know. So, we're going to just continue to walk around. I don't really want to go down that way just now because the lights moved and the dappled light was there earlier but it's not now so as you can probably see there's still a tiny bit of light but it's mostly in shade but as you can see this way there's a lot of light there so we're going to climb on top of those branches and those tree trunks and see what we can get down that bit. Yeah, but this place is absolutely amazing. You can, it has such an eerie eerie feel obviously it's called devil's pulpit apparently the legend goes that the, the druids years and years ago used to have their wee um meetings i suppose up on that rock there so uh 
yeah, that's where it gets its name from. So another fun fact is apparently this place used to have a, a sort of, there was a folklore tale that it was called the Honesty Water. So if you drank the water, uh, you'd be made to tell the truth. So who knows? I'm not drinking it. <laughs> my adventure down here I've probably got about three or four different compositions down here which I'm really really happy with you probably also saw me climbing my way over that way it's probably about three foot deep the gorge walkers looked like they were having an amazing time so get these photos back into Photoshop and have a look at them and see what they look like I think I've got at least probably three or four compositions and I'm really happy with all of them so yeah really successful day enjoyed today's little jaunt down to the devil's pulpit it's a very very scary place to go when you get down there it's gorgeous but it's just that initial bit that i don't like and down those stairs I came away with three different pictures from this shoot and i'm really really happy with all three of them obviously today's video was, was a wee bit different from my usual style of vlogs there was one location but i spent more time there rather than going to three different locations and exploring three different locations. This isn't really a new location, like the whole sort of premise of my, my videos is about going to places I've never been to before um, or haven't photographed before, but this place I've been to once, now twice before. Uh, the second time was an unsuccessful trip because so I didn't actually get down. And this time was brilliant. It was a very good lesson in determination. <laughs> so I thought that until I got down to the bottom and I turned around and there were three old age pensioners coming down behind me so <laughs> yeah good on them though I wouldn't be doing that at that age <laughs> yeah so I was really happy with how the, the shoot went um, obviously you will have seen the, the footage from that and the drone footage and the, the GoPro footage and everything we pretty much went to town on every bit of equipment that we have down there because it is one of those kind of environments where you can really get to fully immerse yourself in that environment and explore it with everything that you have. Yeah, we got to explore this place with everything and we threw everything at it and I think it definitely paid off because the footage we got was stunning. But I'll talk you through the three photographs I have first of all. So the first one I got, took my socks and shoes off and crossed the river and I got this picture which is, I think it was shot about maybe 150 mil to sort of zoom in just on the pulpit. And the reason I like this so much is because there's two things I like about it. There's two beams of light coming from behind. So they're hitting the walls rather than hitting the air. And they've got these amazing streaks just coming across the back of the, the picture and it looks fantastic. What's also happening is one of those streaks is actually hitting the pulpit itself. I must have sat there for about 15 minutes just waiting and waiting to see if that streak of light would hit the pulpit. And it did, and it looks fantastic, and I'm really glad that I stuck around. The other thing I like about this photograph is the when that light hit the pulpit at the top, it because the water underneath was so still, it bounced that reflection into the water, and it lit up the water with the same greeny, orangey, yet yeah, sort of red tones in the water, and it just looks brilliant. I think if this picture had been taken on a dull day, there was no sunlight at all breaking through. Obviously, there's diffuse light, but if there's no actual direct sunlight breaking through. I don't think we would have got this picture. It's, it's, it had to be those conditions at that time. So yeah, I'm really happy with this one. So the next one I got was uh, probably the fifth or sixth picture in a succession of pictures that I'd taken. I got this one, which I really love. The thing I love most about this shot is the fact that it feels very framed. So you've got the waterfall um, in the back. And I think I was maybe shooting at, I think it was 0.4 of a second to get the detail in the waterfall in the background, the highlights could have potentially been really blown out if I'd went any longer than that because the sun was directly hitting the waterfall. But what I love about this is that gorgeous frame shape in the back. They're just so perfectly placed and then at the bottom as well you've got the red sandstone. There was a wee bit that was sort of protruding out the water and um, it was also being lit by the sun so that was highlighted. Then you've got these two beams of light on the sides of these walls, they were highlighted and you've got one beam of light just above the waterfall which then brings your eye down the waterfall and it just all works really beautifully i really love this picture yeah so obviously for this one you're just sort of sitting there waiting for that light to move across different points and i mean you could do this artificially in photoshop but i don't think it would have the same effect i mean you can dodge and burn this to make it look the same you could 
brighten and uh, darken your curve layers to make this look the same but I don't think it would have the same effect and I don't know maybe I'm just not that good on Photoshop but I think it would, it would just have a completely different feeling to it. You see so many different pictures of the Devil's Pulpit I mean the, the place is literally saturated with with photographs now but I found by spending more time there and waiting for people to go so you had more time to just look around and and see what other compositions were there. I found a couple that I haven't seen elsewhere. I haven't seen this composition anywhere else before using that frame. So my last picture is this one. This is gimpy me again standing on top of a rock. I deliberately wore this jumper that day. Normally I, I wear this jumper, this is my favourite outdoor jumper. But for this day I decided to go down with a red jumper on because it's the devil's pulpit and the water's red and I thought I've already had this photograph in my head so my idea was to go down and try and walk around and get up on the pulpit and stand on it and I'd never been down this far before so I didn't know how accessible it was. So that big green wall just behind that, there was three photographers sitting on the tripod just photographing the waterfall I think they were. One of them very kindly, there was a, I also went around my socks because you can't really take, because you'll just slip out of it and one of the ledges on the way around, um, if you'd slipped off you'd have pretty much fell into I think it was about three feet of water. So I would have been right up to my, my waist in it, apparently it was far too deep for wellies, so they said so. One of them very kindly um, grabbed a hold of my arm and gave me something to grab onto so I could get around. And then I just clambered up onto the pulpit, turned around, thumbs up to my drone pilot who then shot the picture for me or who clicked the button for me. And I got this one, I think this was the third picture because I kept moving so. <laughs> I'm very fidgety, especially when I'm up on a height. You can see a little bit of a highlight on my hair from one of the sunbeams that's hitting me as well. Totally, totally knocked it off in this one. The, the light was perfect. At the surrounding walls of the, the sort of cavern bit were all being lit up as well. It just looks amazing. And I've also kept the, so there's a massive, massive fallen tree down there and a lot of people tend to crop that out of their compositions but for this picture I quite liked it in it because it gave it a little bit of depth in the foreground as well. I know you don't really need your eye to be led through because my jumper pretty much directs your eye straight to that but I think this just gives it a little bit of something to look at in the foreground more than anything, just a wee bit of foreground interest more than anything. I've always wanted this picture, I haven't seen many of people standing on top of it, especially if taken from this point of view, so it is a bit of a selfie. But, um, but yeah, I'm really glad for how it turned out and I hope you like it as well. I think with that particular location, there was a woman bending down and drinking out of the water. People are going down to are obviously Outlander fans to see this and I would not be drinking that water. It could be a deed coup halfway up the road and it's lying in that water. The colour's really off-putting. It's a really horrible looking red blood coppery colour, like I wouldn't be drinking out of it. So don't drink it, it's, I wouldn't do it. I'm Scottish and I wouldn't do it. So yeah, don't drink the water. People are going to go, so I think they have to start thinking about doing something to make it a bit more safe, accessible, and making it easier to keep it clean and keep it, keep it tidy so people don't have to keep taking away rubbish bags all the time. So yeah, that's my whinge over and done with. I'll back to the photographs. And there was probably a period of about five minutes where we got the place to ourselves and it was bliss beautiful just sitting there listening to the birds, listening to the water. It was gorgeous. It's almost quite there's quite a peaceful aspect of it down there as well. So I can understand why people want to go there and have a look at it. It's a beautiful place to go to. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video and once again thank you very much for your support and continue to watch the channel. If you like this video like and subscribe. Until next week I'll see you soon. Bye!